Another layer has been added to this story. Former Colorado linebacker Alfred Williams played against Mike Gundy's Oklahoma State team in 1989, and he's been following this story. And he spoke to the Oklahoman about a memory from 31 years ago to which Gundy initially denied at the time. But here's what Williams said. He said, quote, I remember that it was the first time that the University of Colorado beat Oklahoma State while I was there. It was a big win. It was a really big win. And I remember Mike Gundy called me the N-word. That's what I remember. Williams added, I want an apology from him, and I want to see him have some growth. If he denies that he said that, I have at least 20 people who will vouch for what happened that day. So Paul Feinbaum and Dominique are with me here. And, Paul, you, have, of course, cover this sport on a daily basis. What is our reaction to all of this latest information? Greeny, it's just one more story. It's one more news cycle that works against Mike Gundy. And, you know, I felt the other day uh, before... Uh, he went on the apology tour that, that he really needs to go. And I haven't changed that because I, I think there, there is always going to be something out there for Mike Gundy. And, and I, I just find it to be uh, just absurdly unbelievable uh, that, that he could be so unaware of everything that is going on around him and suddenly uh, have this uh, road to Damascus conversion uh, the other day. And, and, and now he's listening and wants to learn. I, I just don't buy any of it. I'm sorry. Alfred Williams said in it, and it was part of the quote there, that he doesn't want Gundy fired necessarily, but he does want an apology. Dominique, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is just another example that we give people uh, the benefit of the doubt when they have a certain title or when they look a certain way, because it seemed to me that Chuba Hubbard is obviously uh, much more informed on issues, and I think the, that um, Oklahoma State should be fortunate that they have a player like that there. But it's hard to believe anything that Mike Gundy says because he also said that the One American News Network, the shirt that he was wearing, he liked them because they stick to just the facts. And if anyone has ever seen One American News or understand what they do, they exist only to be more uh, conservative, if that's the word you want to use, or more right-leaning than and more radical than even Fox News. So it's hard for you to ever have watched that pro their programming or read anything about their programming and wear that shirt and not understand it. So I feel like that's not true. But I do think he's afraid about his um, football coaching future. And I think he'll do whatever he can to try to save that. Because if you can't get recruits and you can't get the players there to trust you or believe in you, then there's no reason for you to be a head coach in this league. And the last thing I wanted to point out is that Mike Gundy, while he, um, I'm sure, like to trumpet how much he has done to help out young black players by getting them to school. He doesn't really graduate them all that well. There's an article on the undefeated from 2018, <clears throat> excuse me, that says that the graduation rate for black players there was 38%. Since then, it's gotten to, I, I believe, 48%. So it is, it's gotten better, but it's still below 50 percent and a uh, great disparity between them and um, the black player, excuse me, between the black players and the white players there. So if you want to do something for the black community, I could care less about apologizing for the N word or saying that you see something different is you try to emphasize the opportunity that the black players have there and help them benefit from it rather than um, supporting uh, organizations that take stances uh, in direct opposition to your black players and black people in this country in general. And Paul, it's sort of as a final thought here, this is yet another example in a, an entirely different way, but with Chuba, of college athletes um, understanding the power and influence that they can wield and doing so in ways that we've never seen before, Paul, in all the years you've been covering the sport. No, this is a, an unprecedented uh, several weeks here, Greeny, and, and, and I think we're just going to see more of it. Uh, you know, Ch Chuba, to me, ha has shown a lot more growth and, and maturity th than the head coach who's supposed to be teaching him. And you even heard Gundy talk about that and, and Chuba talk about that. And, 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 and I, I think it's going to spread around the country. And I think, I think Neek said something there very interesting. Uh, this is going to devastate Mike Gundy in recruiting. I mean, he may be able to still pick up some recruits now, but, but I think long term, every single coach in, a, in America is going to use this against him, and I think they're going to be successful at that.